Wow, it's Sunday. Happy Sunday. Please, if you're tuned in, could you say a prayer? Do a shout out. Do something. I hate this weather. Pioneer Loft Build, Day 14. The great Canadian loft is being built. Today was a big day. Now, we're going to wait to see if people are tuning in, if you can hear me. I want you please to pray for good weather. Actually, the hell of it. Because the next step is we're putting a roof on the loft. Landing board is in. Pads are in. As you can hear the shitty wind. Dylan, thanks for tuning in. Neil, thanks for tuning in. It poured rain again. I had to shut the time lapse off to put the time lapse back on. Heavy rain. We managed to get through. Who wants to see the landing board? Louder and clear. Loud and clear. Yes, Mike, you hear it loud and clear. Neil, thanks for tuning in. Mike, thanks for tuning in. Michael, MP Pigeons, nice, excellent. I can't pronounce your last name, Michael. I have to ask Leah how to do that. Guys, thank you yesterday for tuning in. Congratulations to all the big winners. Uh, 12 lucky winners yesterday. If you are new to pigeon racing, you want to you want to get into pigeon racing, you enjoy pigeon racing, please let me know. I don't care if you're in Canada or the United States, we're going to put you through to the Canadian Racing Pigeon Union or my favorites, the American Racing Pigeon Union, to get those packets sent out to you. We need to replace all the old pigeon flyers. If you're over 60, the Pioneer Club wants to get a replacement for you to keep this sport going. We need more people in the sport. How are we going to get more people? We're going to promote. That's it. Guys, as you can see, painting again. Who wants to see the landing board? By the way, guys, did we forget? If you sign in and you're watching, could you please say hello? I like to say hello to everyone. Hello, my lad. Hello, Rui. Frank, my man. Trophy Frank, you're in there. Congratulations to your daughter yesterday as a junior flyer. She is a CU member, which is good too. Positive, positive. Again, guys. Pigeon Boss mugs, $12. Frank, there you go. You're saying hello. I'm gonna have a sip before we see the landing board. Do you think this is gonna look good? Who knows? Oh, vodka and diet taste so good. Whew. Okay, uh, another thing on our Pioneer page, you'll see there, there's a nice little advert. Post your entries. Guys, post them in the, uh, the section down there on that flyer. Go onto that, Facebook, uh, onto that page there. Click on it. Post your entries in. Get some good names for your pigeons this year. Good names. We want something sporty, something fun. And if you guys can't think of one, I'm going to think of it for you. Mm. All right, moving on. You didn't come to see me have a drink. To hell with that. We're here to see the mega board. The mega board. What is the mega board? Not the barbecue, the board. Well, maybe I should go from this way. Hold on. We're getting some suspense. Here we go. Hey, 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 hey. Here we go. There it is. The mega board. Three feet. Three feet wide. 32 cubicle feet long. Again, guys, I just want to take you up to the side of it so you can see. Let me stop shaking. What do you guys think? Put in your comments, guys. And remember, we're not carpenters. We just try our best. But we wanted to show you. Dave, thanks for tuning in. Dave, I want you to say hi to everybody. We got 16 of you guys on the Squeaker Squad. Everyone say hi. We've got the landing board in. Look at those state-of-the-art custom dog ear mounts. So now you're starting to see as it all comes together. Again, we've got a few little sways in our wire. We're going to get those straightened out. We got to do some zip tying. Oh, we got our electronic pads in. Yes, guys, please don't panic. We're going to try to see how the chips work on this. If not, we can just cut that out. It's not a big deal. And there's going to be what we call the trapping tunnel. Kevin, thanks for tuning in. Now, what the hell is a trapping tunnel, you're going to ask? Well, 
We can't have them clock like that because they're going to miss the pad. So over here, we are going to have a custom-built, state-of-the-art trapping tunnel. And you are going to notice in front of this Bob's, there's nothing. That's right, Dave. Philippe, thanks for tuning in. Ricky Cruz, thanks for tuning in. As you can see, only two spots for the birds to clock. We've got our up north combine pad and our unicon pad. And this is how she looks. And again, there's the runway, the Pearson runway. Let's take a look at those pads in from the inside. Again, guys, wow, shell is empty. I know, I know. It's coming this week. Let's see here. The pads are there. So you can see how the tunnel's going to work. Tunnels it in. No problem. We can cut the pad down to any size we want. But day, is it 14? Day 14 now. Hey, Ryan. Good afternoon. Good evening. Looking good. Yes, Dave Crozier and the Mighty Mitten Man. Hope you're watching. We're going to show you the new Pearson Airport here on Bloomington Road. There she is. There's the landing board. We hope you guys like it. Again, we're going to come up with our custom uh, clocking tunnel. We want the birds to all read safely, so we got to slow them down. But I'm just showing you how it looks now a little bit from this side. I know. There we go. So, I think day 14, is this 14? Day 14's going well. Now the settling Avery, it's going on top of here. And what do we mean by a settling Avery? It's going to cover this board. It can come off at any time. Sam, thanks for tuning in. Sam, I haven't seen you on here in a while. Everyone say hi to Sam. He flies in Long Island. He's an outstanding pigeon flyer. If you want to enter a one-loft race in the U.S. and you say, well, who can I trust to put some good birds out? Sam, the man, he has some supers. He flew last year. Excellent. Uh, I believe it was in the AU convention. I think it was last year. I can't remember. Sam's a top flyer out there. So there you go. Me and Ricky, we put a hell of a lot of work into this today. Through the painting in the rain. We still got some touch-ups to do. Using the Unicon pads. Oh, hi, Sam. Yeah, that's right, Dave. Introduce yourself to Sam. Excellent pigeon flyer. And you know what's great about Sam? He's a young pigeon guy. He's at the top uh, down there. No problem, Sam. You don't have to thank me. I'm not blowing smoke up anyone's butt. What I like to do is just give you the facts. And Sam is a top, top flyer. Um, I know I can count to, on if I need a bird going into a race and I'm stuck. Sam, no problems. Good guy. Good pigeon man. Dave, great job. I know. We're trying our best. You did a hell of a job on the loft. Well, I'm going to tell you something. Me and loft manager Richard, we're not carpenters at all. We struggle. We make a lot of mistakes. We do a lot of screwing. Again, let's see if we can get that camera in there. There's the, the, the screw that went in that came back out. Um, but we're having fun. And you know what? That's the whole thing. Guys, you're at home right now with this stupid corona sickness. Clean up your lofts for your neighbors. Get together. Get it done. Clean them up. Put some, a fresh coat of paint on. You don't have to get all extravagant. Just clean them up a little bit. You know what? Sometimes uh, your neighbors might appreciate it. But there she is. Now we're waiting for the roof. And the only thing left to put on will be the skirting down here along the outside, which I'm not really worried about that till the end. But basically the outside is done except for the trapping tunnel. I'm not going to really probably worry about the trapping tunnel until I take the settling Avery's off and get them coming in. And then we're going to play with that and we'll slowly add that in for the birds to get used to. But guys, please, could you please get me some nice weather? This weather is absolutely brutal. I don't know, Sam, in Long Island, how the weather is there. Hopefully you guys are and the steps. Oh, Dave, you want to see our steps? We borrowed these steps from another loft. But yes, we are going to build some, I think, some pressures treated. I want to give a big shout out to Kevin, who helped us design 
the the power ears, the dog ears. This thing, you should have seen, I don't know if you'll see it in the time lapse today, but Richard walked right across that landing board. I hope the time lapse was working. Yeah, we're gonna put stairs in. This is just a step to help us get in. And again, if you wanna wonder how the back of the loft looks, there you go. And what's gonna go on the back of this loft? Oh, yeah, the custom vent covers from Bill. Bill is going to set us up with some custom covers. And if you guys like those covers, let us know. We're going to put them on. And they're going to go where the red is there. Derek Tavares, guys, let's give a big shout out to Derek. Congratulate him yesterday on the big win. Big, big win. He gets an extra bird in the Pioneer Invitational race. We hope you liked uh, the raffle yesterday, but we're just showing you the landing board, how it looks. Again, for you guys that just came on board, there's the antennas, and there's going to be a tunnel so the birds do not miss. That's how we're gonna play the game. So please guys, keep your whining aside. They need a tunnel. They need a tunnel. And that's how it's going to work. Remember, a thousand ways to bake a chocolate cake, a million ways, a hundred million ways, and they're all going to taste good. We're going to have a tunnel on ours, and it's going to be fancy, and it's going to look really good. Way to go, Derek. Yes. Class move, Dave. Yes. Good job, Derek. You get an extra bird. But there you guys see Pioneer Invitational. Now, the landing board is not done besides the tunnel. There is still a piece that has to go on. Uh, Aaron, thanks for tuning in. Please, guys, post your entries on our page. You know where to go. Look on our Pioneer page. You're going to see that fancy ad Leah put together. Please put your entries in there. Think of some crazy fun names. It's about having fun, guys. It's about building more young flyers. We want to replace... If you're 50 and over, we have to find replacements for you fast in a positive way. We got to keep this sport growing. And the way to keep it growing is to advertise, promote in the right way. This is a very fun sport. This is a hell of a lot more fun than joining a bowling league. Hell of a lot more fun than playing darts. I've done all these things. But the problem is I can only do it one day a week. The great thing about pigeons is... I can do it seven days a week, 365 days a year. I can dream about breeding next year's winners. I can scratch my head. There's highs, there's lows, there's depression. There's everything in pigeon sport. And guys, it's a great sport. So how are we going to replace everybody who's 50 and over? How do we do that? Look at that. Look at that, eh? Nature of things. Big shout out to David Suzuki. He's our man. So, if you like the new Pearson, 112 birds in this year's Pioneer Invitational. We're accepting birds April 26th to May 2nd. After May 2nd, the race is closed off. If you miss the boat by that time, we're going to find replacements for your birds, and you're out. Again, we're having fun here, and that's what it's all about. Keep your lofts clean. I mean on the outside, give them a little facelift. Oh guys, look, hold on. Trumpeter geese, trumpeter geese. It's like David Suzuki. Roof, what, Milad, roof, tomorrow, yeah. Well, we're hoping uh, our good buddies here at the Home Hardware in Aurora, they've done a fantastic job supplying us with gallons and gallons of paint. They're supposed to have the roof in, so we're hoping if it's going to be in tomorrow. Uh, if not, we're going to we're still going to start working in on the inside. We got to ply with the walls on the inside, and we want to show you the bare shell. Again, the roof's hopefully coming tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Look at Pearson again. What a what a huge. So inside here, just a quick look again. Don't panic, guys. We got a week, and we can work through the night. Plywooding on all the walls. Plywooding on all the walls. It's all plywood. Roof's going on. Skylights are going in. 
sections divided into four hallway down hallway where the doors are and that's it that loft would fare well in nova scotia geez who i dave i know if you guys need help building a loft or want to hire us to build the loft we can give you a price but remember it might take us a little while we're going to be in your backyard for quite a long time and we like cash and cold drinks mostly through the day we start our sipping around what would you say around 9 a.m to get a product like this done takes a certain way mark thanks for tuning in nice colors yeah uh, we all thought about it and you'll see on that one time lapse where we go with a shitty little brown color and then uh we just turn right around and make it corporate and we're done so guys get your birds ready for this race they should be already out of the nest they should be living in a basket or living in a section eating and drinking drinking and eating Two inch styrofoam in the roof to cut down the noise from the rain. Ooh, that's a good one, Dave. Dave's got, that's a good idea. I heard that Wayne Gretzky. Wayne Gretzky? Yeah, he had a hockey stick in his hand when he was two and a half years old. Wayne Gretzky had a hockey stick in his hand yeah. at two and a half years. Now, why so, would you so, pick two so, and a half and not two? Was no, there anything for I'm that? What I'm saying is, they didn't put the stick in his hand when he was eight, ten. 12 16 years old two and a half years old that means he got out of the nest and got the stick get to the stick early so get guys out of the nest you know and start that's, riding that's that right. bike ride the bike early teach them to succeed aaron thanks for tuning in and vapor barrier boy yeah but guys if we do too much to this loft i might just move in anyways we got a draw coming up this week pigeon boss mug what a win. Keep your drinks cold. This was fun today. We hope you like the landing board. Stay with us for day 15. I don't know what's coming. Even though I told you what's coming, I still don't know what we're going to do. We're one cut away from losing a limb and putting this project on hold. Ellen! Guys, everyone on here right now, 19 of you, I want you all to say hello to Ellen. If you are in... The Ontario area, and you want to fly, especially you fly in the up north combine, ask Ellen about the board and bond race. It's fantastic. Words of wisdom right there from Richard. Yeah, that's right, guys. Pigeons is simple. It's keep it simple. Simple, simple, simple. Use common sense. Hello, Ellen. Frank, good man. You should win a prize for that one. Ellen, whenever you come on this page, say hi to the guys. Say hi to everyone. We're a family here, Pioneer Invitational One Loft Race. The fun is right here, there for Ellen. We're gonna show this. Wow, guys, there you go. I love the support. Ricky Cruz, Mike Vanderyak, thank you, Ellen. We're gonna give you just a quick rundown of the Pioneer Invitational Accepting Birds, April 26th to May 2nd. She sold out. Ellen Sutton just tuned in. That's great. And you know what? You know what I love? I asked the guys here on the Facebook page to say hi because I, I haven't seen her on before, and everyone did, and which is great. But Ellen Sutton is his granddaughter of, uh, Sam, of Sam, uh, Sam Marshall. There you go. You know what? That's a pigeon family to pigeon family, and generations keep coming. That's what we like to see. Richard, thanks. Kenny Foster's in the house. Thank you, Kenny. Everyone's saying hi. This is what we like to see. Here we go. The new Pearson on Bloomington. I just want to show everybody one more shot before we wrap this up. Again, guys, if you have any questions about flying in this year's 2020 board and bond race, Ken Foster, Ellen Sutton, they're running this race and uh, they put on a good job. Race runs every year. We're going to be flying in it with these pioneer birds. What a, I, I don't know what you said, SOPA. Well, I, I don't know. That's some new English to me. But here we go. Again, Philippe, thank you. You see, guys, Derek Tavares looking good. All the best. And, hey, congratulations to Derek. Sorry, you guys might be getting a, a little bit seasick on here. 
I'm going back up to the house. I think I'm going to have a hot tub tonight. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. Put your entries in on that page. Put your comments in. Follow along for day 15. That's all I got to say. Day 15. Magical things are going to happen. And then, hey, when we go to the home hardware, we're going to take you guys there to see this amazing roof. We've waited long. We've got less than seven days to get this thing done. We've got to put the sections in, the perches in, the roof in. Set it, forget it. This one's for Ron Popeil. David Suzuki was in the house with the trumpeter geese and the chickmunks. <sighs> I'm finished. I'm done. It's a wrap. I got to go, guys. See you. Thank you. Bye.